Hi, Future Bela lawyers. My name is Katherine Sims, and I am your Director of Student Affairs. In this video, I'll introduce myself, tell you a bit about what I do at Baylor Law, and discuss ways that we can work together during your time as a law student here at Baylor Law. So a bit about me. I am originally from Arlington, Texas. Um, my husband and I met while we were studying abroad in law school. Um, we live in Hewitt and have two dogs, uh, Walker and Bruiser. Um, after graduating from Baylor, I practiced in Atlanta, Georgia, and then joined the Office of Admissions at a law school there. I spent 11 and a half years in law school admissions, including seven here at Baylor Law, and transitioned into the student affairs role in September of 2023. I truly feel called um, to work with and to serve Baylor Law students, and I'm beyond thrilled that this is what I get to do every single day. And I really look forward to getting to know each and every one of you. So what do I do and how can we work together? First and foremost, I want you to know that you can come to me with anything and everything. If you don't know who you're supposed to go to with a specific question, that's fine. I can help point you in the right direction if I'm not that person. I want you to know that I have an open door and an open phone policy. So you can shoot me an email, you can shoot me a text, you can call me, you can stop by my office. I want you to know that I am here for you and I take my job very seriously because again, I see it as a calling. Um, but what are some specific things that I do and specific ways that we can work together? I work a lot with the student organizations. Um, so we have 30 plus organizations you can get involved with. Uh, they focus on specific areas of law, specific interests, shared backgrounds. Um, you can connect with student organizations through student organization fairs, interest meetings, um, looking at the student announcements to see what different groups are doing. Uh, there's a variety of ways that student groups try to connect with students. And I encourage you to keep your eyes and ears open for those opportunities so that you can find your community here at Baylor Law. Um, we have a student, student government organization called the Student Bar Association. Um, and I work very closely with them. Um, there are elected officials that represent each class and also the student body as a whole. They provide lunch during finals, um, they host social events for the entire Baylor Law community every single quarter. They're going to match you with a law buddy that's an upper quarter student that's um, here to guide you and give you advice. Um, so they are a great group of students who really enjoy serving the, the Baylor Law student body. They also act as advocates between the students um, and the administration. So if you ever have any concerns, in addition to sharing them with me, you can share them with your student bar representative. You should have a list of the current representative um, names, email addresses um, in your orientation binders that you'll get during orientation. I also work really closely with our diversity and event coordinator, Sam Smith, and you're going to love getting to know her. Um, we both want you to know that you belong here. You were chosen to be here for a reason, and um, we want everyone to find their place and their sense of community and belonging here at Baylor Law. Um, so she will host a series of, of events celebrating our differences and helping us learn from one another throughout the year. Um, and those are open to the entire community and always such a fun time for us to get together and again, celebrate our differences and learn from one another. It is so important. Um, you'll see us greeting you the first day of the quarter and um, just in the halls, um, if you ever, if you ever need to stop and chat, please pull one of us aside. Um, we both really, really care deeply about each and every Baylor Law student. Um, something else that I'm that I'm really passionate about is mental health and wellness, and that's that that passion really is what pushed me to pursue a role in student affairs. Um, as law students and as lawyers, um, you will be stretched, you will be pushed, you will be challenged to your limits. Um, this program in particular is very, very difficult. Um, our professors will expect a lot of you um, because your clients and your employers will expect a lot of you in practice. We are not just another educational experience. You are getting prepared to join a profession um, in which you will have hefty responsibilities. And we take very seriously our commitment to you to get you prepared. And part of that is learning to take care of yourself, to form healthy habits that you can take into practice. A lot of students may say, you know what? I'm just gonna, you know, pedal to the metal, keep my head in the books, 24 seven law student. I will figure out, um, you know, balance a little bit later. 
I'll figure that out in practice. But once you graduate and you dive into practice, you, it's easy to keep falling into that habit of being later. I'll figure that out later. So why not do it now? Um, it is so important to me that you find ways to care for yourself, um, to not put by the wayside the things that you really enjoyed prior to law school, um, whether that be um, reading for fun, your favorite TV shows, exercise, um, you know, weekly dinners with friends. You can do those things. You just have to be intentional about your time. Um, it's also important for you to know that if you need, you know, if you need to be connected with mental health or wellness resources, a counselor, a psychiatrist, that's okay. Um, come to me if you don't know where to go. Baylor University has a lot of resources that are free to you as a student. Um, there are a lot of great resources here in Waco and, and I am here to help you. So if you ever feel like you need someone to talk to, um, need to get connected with those kinds of resources, I'm here. Um, but also I provide opportunities for you to just take a break because that is so important. So quarterly dog parks, wellness programming during wellness week. Um, every single quarter, there's gonna be a wellness related um, PDP. So you'll learn about our professional development program from Dean Cruz Turner uh, and what all that's about. Um, but again, it's just important for you to understand that it's okay um, to take breaks and it's encouraged to take breaks and it's encouraged for you to take care of yourself and to learn how to do that now. Um, and I'm here, here to encourage you to do that. Um, so never hesitate to bring up other ideas too, just like with, you know, student organizations. If, if you don't, if you see something, um, at another law school that you want to start here or man, you know, I really am interested in this area of law. I'd love to start a student organization to see if other students are interested in that. If you ever have any ideas for community related events, I would love to hear them. So really the moral of the story is I'm here to work with you. I'm here to help you make this experience the best possible as you work hard towards becoming a great Baylor lawyer. And yeah, sometimes that's gonna mean some, some tough, um, tough conversations. Um, you are, again, going to be challenged here, but it's all for a reason. Um, and I, I know you will be so proud of yourself at the end of this. I'm so proud of you for making this choice and for deciding to join us here at Baylor Law. Um, again, open door, open phone policy. Right now, you can find me in the Dean Suite, which is located on the second floor of the law school. You can call me at 254-710-3239 or call or text me at 817-291-3775. And you can email me at Catherine, K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E underscore Sims, S-I-M-S -S, at Baylor.edu. Welcome to Baylor Law.